Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve these nice algebraic equations? We want to find the value of x and y. So first thing we are going to note here is, we consider x and y as, we consider it as a positive integer. So we have to restrict ourselves to only the positive integer. Then, so let's consider a solution. So from the given question, so we have to find the LCM first. And the LCM here is x, y. So by taking x, y here, then by applying the, the cross method from the secondary school, then we have to multiply 3 with y, and that is 3y plus and also x with 4 that is 4x equals 5 then let's cross multiply so by cross multiplying we are going to have 5x 5 we multiply xy and here we have 5xy equals here is 3y plus 4 x so by collecting all this here we have 5x minus so we have 5xy minus 4x minus 3y equals 0 then so we have to group this so when we combine this together we have 5xy minus 4x then here is minus 3y equals 0 so having this what is coming here is x so by factoring out x we have 5y minus 4 so here is minus 3y equals 0 So then, let's say we multiply 2 out by 5 from here. So I want to multiply 2 out by 5. So then that we have this as 5x into bracket of 5y minus 4, then minus 15y equals 0. Then here, suppose I add... 12 and uh, subtract 12 from both sides so this equation becomes 5x into bracket of 5y minus 4 so here is minus 15y then if i add and subtract 12 so we have plus 12 minus 12 equals 0 so having this expression so here is 5x into bracket of 5y minus 4 minus so let's combine this together so by taking out negative here we are going to have this as 15y minus 12 then this minus 12 we take it to the other side and it becomes 12 so from here we have this as 5x into bracket of 5y minus 4 minus so what we can take out here is suppose i take out 4 from here so let's say i take out 3 rather so by taking out 3 from here we are going to have 3 into bracket of so here becomes 5y and here becomes 4 so everything equals 12 because 3 times 5 that is 15 and 3 times 4 that is 12 so looking at this we have 5y minus 4 and here is 5y minus 4 they're the same so let's combine this and this. We are going to combine 5x and the minus 3. Then we place 5y minus 4 equals 12 beside it. So this is what we are going to solve now. So we need the value of x and the value of y. That will be equals to 12. So we have to consider the factors of 12. And uh, we have already restricted ourselves to only the positive 
integers. So let's see how we can achieve that. So then let's look for the uh, the possible values of 12. So at the first case, the 12 here, we can have it as 12 times 1. We can also have it as 1 times 12. Again, we have it as 6 times 2. Then we can also have it as 2 times 6. So then followed by, we have it as 4 times 3. And the last one is 3 times 4. So all this equivalence to 12 for the positive side. And when you consider the negative part of this, so we can have something of this nature as everything here we start taking negative. That is minus 12 times minus 1. We have minus 1 times minus 12. And also we have minus 6 times minus 2. We have minus 2 times minus 6. Here is minus 4 times minus 3. And the last one here is minus 3 times minus 4. So I have to use this uh, dot just to save the, uh, the space. Then after having this, so we cannot consider all of this. The reason here is, let's look at this. If you have 5x minus 3, okay? And uh, if you have to take the first one, since it is a positive integer, so when we plug in the value of x here, let's say at x equals to 1, we are going to have, uh, we are going to have, at x equals to 1, we have 5x, we have 5 minus 3, and 5 minus 3 here, that is 2. I know that the 2 here is less than 12. So 2 is less than 12, we are going to reject that. And uh, if you consider this one as well, so we have, if x equals to 1, we are going to have 5 times 1, that is 5 minus 3, that is 2. So we know that 2 here is greater than 1 here. So which means we consider this, then when we consider this as well, if x equals to 1, we are going to have 5 minus 1, uh, 5 times 1 minus 3, that is 2. So we know that the 2 here is less than 6. So we are going to reject this step as well. And also, when we consider this one, so this is going to be equal to 2. So we have to consider this step. So these are the only two, uh, only two that will obey this. So the others, we are going to reject it because they will always less than 5x minus 3. So therefore, so for the case 1, for, for the case 1, we are going to have 5x minus 3 equals 1. Or we have 5, uh, we are going to have 5y minus 4 equals 12. So we try and solve this. So we take this one to this side. So by taking this one to this side, we are going to have... So by transferring minus 3 to the other side, we have... 5x equals, so 3 plus 12, that is 15. Then we are going to divide both sides by 5. So by dividing both sides by 5 here, we are going to have x here equals to 3. And also for this one, we have 5y equals 5, as y here equals 1. Then for the second case, we are going to have 5x minus 3 here equals to 2. And we are going to have 5y minus 4 equals 6. So for the first one here, we have our x here equals to 1. And uh, for the second one, we have x equals, equals 2. So these are the values that satisfy this. So the value of x and y here, that is, if x equals to 3, we are going to have y equals to 1. And if x equals to r, we have y equals to 2. 
So this is how to solve this. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next class. Bye bye.